Introducing first, fighting out of blue corner. He won at 159 and one quarter pounds. His professional record consists of five victories against two defeats with two draws, three wins coming by way of cow. Frank Black with gold and hailing from Little Rock, Arkansas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Erasmo, the Reckoning Garcia. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing his undefeated opponent across the ring, he fights out of the red corner. He weighed in at 159 and three quarter pounds. As a professional, he has six bouts, six victories, five coming by way of knockout. Wearing silver with black this evening and hailing from Pensacola, Florida by way of Sweden, accompanied by the five weight division, 11 time champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Please welcome Shady Gamor. Trunks here are good, trunks here are good. Any below this, anything below this line's a foul. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. God bless you both, touch up. Erasmo Garcia said of Shady Gamor, he's a classic boxer, I'm a pressure fighter. I want to have this fight chest to chest, stay in the pocket, heavy pressure, a high volume of punches to Gamor's body. Six rounds in the middleweight division. Shady Gamor versus Erasmo Garcia. The bell in round number one. Oh. Tonight's fight clock is presented by Art of Music. When memories fade, memorabilia doesn't. Underway, Sean. Very excited to see how Erasmo, the reckoning Garcia, gets started. He's a guy who's gone the distance in plenty of fights. I've actually called a couple of his fights in his career. He is vulnerable to cuts, however, and we'll have to see if Shady Gamor is able to touch that face a little bit. Garcia, very vulnerable to cuts, but for Shady Gamor, absolute hard worker. We talked about it in the open. He says boxing is his number one passion in life, and Roy Jones Jr. second to that, talking to them in our production meetings leading up to this fight about his will and his desire and his effort every single day. Black and silver trunks for Gamor, black and gold trunks for Garcia. See the feint from Gamor. Nothing on that right hand from Erasmo Garcia. Gamor told us he would be patient. He's being patient thus far. Garcia not yet able to get in chest to chest. Swing and a miss from Gamor. A lot of power in those punches for Shady Gamor. He knocks guys out, and when he puts them to sleep, they don't get up too easily. Started as a Muay Thai fighter at 16, transitioned into boxing at 17. Roy just liked what he saw when he watched Shady Gamor sparring, and the relationship started building from there. Gamor clever to the body, swinging a miss with the lead left hook from Garcia. You see the feints from Gamor. Overhand left misses, 125 remaining round number one. Guy swings, Garcia to the inside, quick separation from the outstanding referee, Russell Mora. Garcia, not the quickest feet. You notice he's a puncher, Sean. He's not a guy who's gonna out quick people. He's not gonna be more athletic than Shady Gamor. But he can take a punch and he can deliver one. Let go, hands free, guys. Garcia leaping to the inside, right back out. So far, this is the range that Gamor was seeking coming in and not the range that Garcia wants. Now 50 seconds hands remaining free, in the free. opening round. 1-1-2 one, one, from Gamor. A lot of pop, you can hear it. Gamor really starting to turn over that jab. Another big swing and a miss from Garcia. Good snap jab there, then misses with the right. Garcia's got to keep coming with that jab. He gets a little sloppy when he winds up and tries to fire too hard. Knock Amor out with one punch. But when you look at what Lopez had to do coming into this fight, he has, or what Garcia had to do, excuse me, Sean, he's a guy who has to start with that jab and look for the combinations off of it. A good shot there by Shady. Counter right hand, Gamor now opening up final seconds of round number one. Garcia continues to swing wide. Moore continues to play from the outside. That's the end of the opening round. Good start to the fight for Shady. 
Shady eight, Roy calls him. Roy was in the 88 Olympics, as you know, Sean, and he got robbed. Won the silver medal, really should have won the gold, but it was in Korea. Really good. And then you had, obviously, the Korean judges there. But Roy Jones said he also named him that because he wants him to be able to go eight punches in a row consecutively. Only six with his breathing. I would get him. Okay, now listen. You've got to get back at your jab. When he back, when he backs up, when he backs up, what you've got to do is you got to follow him with the double jab. You understand? And go to the body. Heading into round number two, middleweight scheduled for six rounds. Our opening bout of the night, RJJ Boxing live on BN Sports. The Swede, now based in Pensacola, Florida, Shady Gamore versus Erasmo Garcia, the United States Marine Corps veteran from Little Rock, Arkansas. And you heard Garcia's coach, Matt Hamilton, his trainer, in between rounds saying, keep coming with that jab, exactly what we were talking about during round number one, even followed up with a double jab to keep Shady at a little bit of a distance because Shady's getting aggressive and coming right at him, connected a couple of times in round number one, and you can see the confidence and comfort that Shady's fighting with right now. Garcia's got to take that away from him somehow or it's going to be a quick night for him. Straight right a moment ago, landing from Gamor. Gamor working off of the jab. Counter left hand from Garcia again, leaps into the pocket and right back outside. Never doubt the toughness of Garcia. You see a lot of talent in Shady though. Those are wild punches though. He's got to stay disciplined. Gamor said in our fighter meeting yesterday, I respect Garcia, but he can get. Gamor's work sloppy. I have to be patient. I need to capitalize on that sloppiness. Good left hand, hard right hand over the top from Gamor. Roy Jones also telling us yesterday that he's got to bring out aggressiveness at times with Shady, even though he's very aggressive as a fighter. When he channels that and dials it down a little bit, sometimes he has to bring it back at him. So he says it's a constant game of back and forth, of pulling back and pushing forward with Shady. 90 seconds remaining round number two. Garcia starting to find the range with his jab. Swing and a miss with the left hook. Shady started as a brawler. You can see all that training starting to pay off. Garcia being a bit more patient now with the jab. That's a quick left hand from Gamor. Moore continuing the work off of the one. Up to the body, a shovel hook to the body. Hands free, guys, hands free. He's got a lot of tools in the toolbox. Very diverse as a fighter is Shady. For a guy who started as a brawler, that punch right there to the body, very impressive, Sean. Looking for any opening he can find, and another one connects to the face of Garcia. More to the body. Garcia continuing to swing big, swing wide. Shady Gamore staying tight with his punches, tight there on the overhand right. Big combination and the clipping left. Backs off for Rosmo Garcia, the right hand. Counter right hand right back from Garcia. Garcia is tough, the Marine veteran, but Shady's tapping him frequently here with those punches, Sean. He's landing with frequency. And of course, Garcia is going to keep coming forward, but Shady Gamora putting on a clinic here in this round. Final seconds, round number two, middleweights. Shady Gamora versus Erasmo Garcia. We're live in Las Vegas. Roy Jones Jr. boxing on BN Sports. Thank you. Seconds out called. We take you back to round two. A very good round for Shady Gamora, Sean. As you can see, I'm just continuously pounding. Erasmo the reckoning Garcia. Shady Gamora, the fighter to be reckoned with in that round. And Garcia can't continue to leave his chin out there exposed for Shady. He might not make it past this next round. He's got to listen to his coach, Matt Hamilton. Lead with that jab, double jab whenever he can. Hands, guys. Get in there and clutch him, do exactly free, what he's doing right free. now. Make Shady work for it, tire him out a little bit, any chance he can get. Right hand from Gamora a moment ago, clash of heads. Noted by referee Russell Moore. Now Gamora opening up. Big shots. In front. In front. Punches in front. Moore and telling Garcia to fight back. Gamora continuing to cut angles. Left hand from Garcia. Clinical now from Shady Gamora. So quick coming in and getting out. 
Big right hand. Right hand, that was clever. And another right hand. Counter left hand from Garcia. Gamora, though, really opening up now. 60 seconds gone round number three. One way traffic at the moment for the sweet Shady Gamora. Absolutely fantastic display of boxing put on here by Shady Gamora. The punch is coming from everywhere. All angles, feints coming in, getting out, changing levels on Erasmo Garcia. And I'm starting to think that the only chance Garcia has in this fight right now, Sean, is to turn it into an all-out brawl. Credit Erasmo Garcia still trying to move forward. Big shot there. He is rock Gamora to the body. Counter left hand. Back comes Gamora to the head. More punishing shots. Any doubts about the toughness of Erasmo Garcia being erased right now? Also, the doubts about talent, if there were any, with Shady Gamora. These are big shots to the body from Gamora. Huge left hand. Back to the body. Russell Moore taking a closer look. Gamora can see the finish line now, trying to reach it, and down goes Garcia. I don't know if he's going to get up. Look at he got up quickly. He's trying to, Five. anyway. He looked dazed. Six, I saw his eyes roll a little seven, bit. Eight. eight. You good? Wow. You want to continue? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Show Garcia me tells you Russell Moore he's ready. Moore just said, show me something. Instead, it's Gamora showing Moore what he can do. This is a 10-8 round, and that's up for Shady Gamora, but he is thinking finish here in round three. And that is it. 7-0 with six knockouts, yeah, just yeah. like that for Shady Gamora. I'm not gonna let you What a performance Coach. by Shady Gamore in the ring tonight against Erasmo the Reckoning Garcia. So tough to take punch after punch, big shot after big shot. The pop in the fists of Shady Gamore, something to be reckoned with. And I believe Roy Jones Jr. is correct when he says this kid has world title potential. Look, Roy Jones Jr. doesn't just take anyone under his wing, and that's something that Shady Gamore does not take lightly. For a guy who came in as a brawler, you can see that style. You can see the power here, but you can also see both hands in, out, uppercuts, hooks, every which direction, every angle. Man, what a performance. He is absolutely fantastic. He just put every other fighter in this weight class on notice. Look out for Shady 8, Shady Gamora. Throughout this three-round fight, Shady Gamora continued to turn up the temperature. Credit to referee Russell Mora. He told Garcia when he was knocked down in round three, you have to show me something. Instead, it was more one-way traffic for Shady Gamora. And the TKO ruled by Mora in round number three. Let's go back up into the ring with Mark Frado. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee in charge, Russell Mora, called for a halt to this contest. Your official time, two minutes, 32 seconds in round number three. Your winner by TKO and still undefeated from Pensacola, Florida, Shady Gamora.